it is guys, it's your boy Blasphemous HD, and today we're here to watch some scary videos you guys have sent to me in the DMs of the Discord. Now this next video was submitted to me by Christian Breen, who just received a strange video from a friend. The friend in question is known as Amanda, and according to Christian, Amanda specializes in talking to the dead. It seems that she's been doing this for a while, so much so that she considers herself as a full-on medium. Given her ability to contact and see the dead, she me? occasionally gets distracted by things or wow. people that don't appear to be there. In one instance, Amanda was doing a live stream with two friends, when all of a sudden, something from the corner of the room catches her attention. Word? Afterwards, things get pretty strange. Watch. Good? He drank all of it. Yeah. You good? For like 10 minutes this went on, and I'm like, oh my god, could you stop? Oh, you're looking what? at your cat. No, somebody just walked through my kitchen and Bobby freaked out. Did you see him run? Yeah. I saw him, yeah. He's, he's still sitting there looking at it. No. What is it? And his, like, tail is Yeah, switching. I saw his tail. Oh, no. Where? Is the person still there? Bobby, you okay? I don't know. It still, like, feels oh, really this. weird in here, but I only saw that, like, for a second. I don't do this. That's also the same direction that when you said we, that there were. We don't do this. Ah! Oh my God! No. It's Brendan, he's outside now. Thank oh. God. Brendan? No. No. No, he's not. He saw a man. No, it's not. No, he's not. There is not. Literally. Wait, how'd your door just open? I. No one's out there. You're lying. How did her door no, just I'm open? No, I'm not. Is he messing with you? No. I don't do none of this. Even the cat don't trust it. Throw the cat at it. Oh, your mom or something. Yeah, I think I'm gonna text Fluffy someone. Fluffy, don't. I told him to come down here. I, I literally live in the middle of nowhere. You guys saw my door open. Yes, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Maybe stop talking that to the ghost, Brendan, babe. Her husband was messing around with her. She proceeds to open the door, but like something out of a horror movie, she finds no one there. It is at this point when Amanda instinctually shuts and locks the door. Now it seems that Amanda already felt something wasn't right after seeing her cat act strange. Eventually, she came to fully realize this after seeing no one outside her door. It's as though she felt a dangerous or threatening presence. Now not much else is known about what happened afterward. But until further info is provided by Christian, who thankfully sent this video, it remains a mystery as to what exactly happened that night. Nope. I can communicate with the living. The living don't do shit like that. In this next video, a woman is recording her neighbor's house after noticing something very alarming. It appeared that something strange was going on inside her neighbor's Could garage. Her now the reason as to why this was unusual was because the neighbor was out of town. They were on vacation far from home, mm. but strangely, the lights inside the garage had turned on. The woman who took this video was passing by when she noticed this, but as she continued to watch, something happened that chilled her to the core. Take a look. Quit playing. Don't play. Don't you play with me. No. No! Stop what you're doing. That's not good. At best, you're being robbed by black people. At best. But it's definitely not good. Guys, leave in the comment section down below. If you could be robbed by anybody, including those close to you, who would you want to do the do dirty? Who would you want to do the business? Yeah, that's not good, man. You might want to move out of that one. Hell no. No, no, none of that, none of that, stop it. Oh, hell no, nigga, he looking. After watching closely to see what was going on, this happens. A figure dashes back and forth in a seemingly frantic manner. It does this for more than a few seconds before no. suddenly stopping and looking out the garage window. It's hell as no. if it was watching the woman who was filming this. If the woman's neighbor was away from home, then who or what was this? Yeah, nigga, what is that? As with most videos, this one remains a mystery. No, it ain't. Move, bitch. Get out the way. 
I mean, out your house. Move. Get out of your house. On December 2nd of 2021, at around 9 p.m., affiliates of a Christian church were looking at live footage of something very peculiar that was happening outside their chapel. They, attacking Christians they were looking now? at the security camera's live feed to see if anyone appeared on camera, as it was just then that the intruder alarm had gone off. Word. They knew that someone had to be there, given that their alarm system had never failed them. But minutes pass, and no one appears. They continue to watch, hoping to see the intruder emerge from their hiding spot. But instead, what they saw was something totally unforeseen. Take a look. Was it Janet Jackson's news? I like Janet Jackson's news. Janet Jackson is good people when is a good person when she's naked. You know what I mean? real. In fact, I would even say all the no woman is a bad woman if she doesn't have her clothes on. Unless she's like 800 pounds. I can't even, I, I can't, I'm not, I'm, even I'm In not that uplifted. disbelief, the church members watch closely as even. one of the side doors opens on its own. It opens ever so slowly no man, and remains strong. open as if the door you was being Norbert? held. But strangest of all is what ensues. A strange, translucent figure passes through, entering inside the church. The door continues to remain no, open just the Holy before Ghost. immediately closing after the It'd figure exits. The church personnel no doubt believe that something otherworldly had taken place. Huh? While there's no definitive answer on what was seen, they still believe that a spirit or something similar had paid them all a visit. Yep. Huh? He wrote up in there to pass that collection plate around. The good way. In the following video, a large crowd of onlookers are standing on a bridge looking at something that's beneath them. The person recording this doesn't exactly show what's being seen by others, Why not? but based on the facial expressions of those around him, one can assume that something pretty horrific is being witnessed. Now the man Paul, behind the camera Forrest commentates on what's being seen, but his voice trembles as he talks. It seems that something about this scene is deeply disturbing for him. After sexy? giving a vague and somewhat confusing description of this mysterious event, the video cuts to black. Is it Lil Nas but fast Eagle? forward to only a few weeks That's later, scary. and surveillance footage of this mysterious incident is posted online, showing the reason as to why people had gathered That's on this bridge. Scary. Take a look. Is Lil Nas X pregnant again? Like, he's posting pregnancy pics on Instagram again? That's just scary. What's poppin'? Was new Fast and Furious chase scene? Okay. Yep. Yep. Right off the side, huh? He played it way. He played. He played it fast and loose. And he got his comeuppance. Sucks, but you know. As it turns out, a car accident had taken place, uh. or unfortunately, the driver's life was taken upon impact. Mm. However, there's something else about this footage that many people can't stop talking about. It seems that something just as unsettling was captured. Only a few seconds after the accident, this is caught. Did anybody get his shoes? Check his pockets. Oh, niggas, that, that the Grim Reaper? Was that the ghost from Jeeper Creeper? Motherfucker, what? That's a, that's a sight in his hand. Nigga! After looking closely, a dark, shadow-like figure can be seen standing on a truck's bed. Really? Although it's hard to tell as to who or even what this might have been, viewers have noted that it seems to be overlooking the wreckage from the car crash. This, along with its physical appearance, have led many to believe that this may have been the Grim Reaper caught on camera. Knowing about this video, oh, find a it's no Dante's wonder why the person recording the previous footage felt very unsettled. The bridge itself has a history of claiming the lives of many drivers, which is why it's been dubbed the Death Curve. Seeing the wreckage below and knowing about this eerie footage has naturally made those who know about this place feel spooked. But of course, whether paranormal or not, I'll let you come up with your own conclusions. Was Death himself present at the site of this unfortunate accident? Or was something else caught on camera? That just goes to show you guys, always walk your dogs, because apparently driving that motherfucker dangerous, the more you know. That's real spiel, man. This next video was posted by a woman named Lorley Gons, who states that something very strange was captured in a video that was taken many years ago. The girl in this clip is Lorley's cousin-in-law's daughter, who was about 10 years old when she took this video. According to Lorley, she was filming herself in her bedroom when something pretty spooky happened. 
The video starts off with the young girl playing with her toys, doing a show and tell of a kitchen playset she was recently given. Hola, loeristas. Hoy estamos en un nuevo video para mi canal y hoy vamos a yeah. estar mostrando. You better get them easy eh, bake oven. Stove top stuff and muffins. Uh, uh, cook, now as uh, the young, young girl person. states, this video is for her YouTube channel, which according to Lorley is solely based on pretend play videos and toy reviews. What was meant to be an innocent pretend play video turned out to be something completely different. Take a look. A ver, empecemos. Primero tengo este cuchillo. Es muy lindo. Pues tengo esto que es como para cortar pizza, creo. ¿Sí? Pues tengo esto. Cucharón. Una cuchilla. Filosa. Ahora tengo dos tenedores así. Uno rosita, igual que el cuchillo que mostré al principio. No sé si lo mostré al principio. Y este tenedor. I don't like this shit. Perdón. Run, babies, run. Dos cuchillos amarillos igual. Hey, look, hey, where the easy bake oven muffins at? Come on, bro. I'm tired of looking at your your, your plastic cutlery. All right. Pues las tacitas. Tengo esta tacita, rosita. The hell is a rosita? Esta tacita. Uh oh. Los, eh, como fucsia. Uh, come again. Huevo. Sí. Oh, get. It was promptly after noticing the doll's arm lifting on its own that the girl pauses, turns around, and bolts out in a panic frenzy. Even before this, it appeared that she had already sensed something strange was happening. As if seeing one of her toys suddenly fall by itself wasn't already enough to make her feel unsettled, this happens. Now currently, the girl in this video is 14 years old, but despite how old this video is, it continues to haunt her to this day. Just like Lorley and others who've seen this clip, they have no idea as to how the doll seemingly moved on its own. It's late in the afternoon when a person lying on a gurney records themselves out of boredom. The video begins with not much happening in the beginning, but it's what happens only seconds later that's terrifying. Now very little context is given on this clip, but one can see what's going on. As the person records themselves and their surroundings, they capture this. Oh, shit. Oh, hell no. For almost less than two seconds, the person recording captures what seems to be someone or something standing in the corner of the room. Its sudden appearance is made even more creepy by the way it looks. Viewers have noted that it looks extremely thin and palish, Which is but racist. things become even more unsettling after Very seeing racist. that the space where the figure was seen is now empty. Feeling immensely terrified, the woman behind the camera ends the video. Very little context is given on this footage, but with or without it, the clip is still quite creepy. At around 2 in the morning, a man named Daniel Palomino was walking alone inside a plaza when something completely unexpected happened. It was actually during a live stream when Daniel recorded this. Now this is something that he often does during his free time. During late at night, Daniel walks alone while simultaneously live streaming on his phone. However, what happened on the night of September 28th of 2023 has scared him to his core. Like any other night, Daniel was live streaming to an audience who were suggesting places he should visit during his walk. One place that was recommended was an old plaza that's believed to be haunted. Although hesitant at first, Daniel heads over to the plaza after realizing how close he was to the place. But this was a big mistake. After exploring the strip mall for more than a few minutes, things started getting weird. Strangely, Daniel begins to smell a burning scent coming from somewhere in the plaza. He tries to find the source of the smell, 
but gives up before suddenly the scent goes away. Although pretty strange, this occurrence becomes a whole lot creepy after one of his viewers on his live stream tells him this. No, me digan, dicen, dicen la leyenda que hay niños que juegan hasta tarde en la res, ¿sí? en el casino Garden que está bajo hubo un incendio y murieron personas. No, no, no te... According to the viewer, there used to be an old casino inside the plaza that caught fire and took many people's lives. Hearing about this left Daniel totally freaked. He just smelled a burning scent and thinks this might have been somehow connected to the fire incident that occurred years ago. Feeling spooked, Daniel immediately starts to head out. But on his way out, something in the distance makes him stop in his tracks. This is what he saw. Wait, is this who? What is that? Is that a foot? Key? Is that a boot? Wait, what's going on? Is that a small what? baby in a boat? Shoe size boat? Can you say something? Yeah, it's still there. O sea, que se acerca, weón. ¿Qué chucha es eso? Very close. I don't see it. Oye, me acerco, me acerco. Ni cagando, voy a grabar algo. Oye. ¿Qué chucha es eso? Está que camina, weón. Está que camina, está que camina. Está que camina. Not sure as to what he was seeing, Daniel starts to back away. According to him, whatever this was, it started moving towards him. Now the video's quality makes it hard to see, but Daniel swears that something small was approaching him. He further adds that whatever this was had a stature smaller than a child's. It was immediately soon after that he turns around and finds another exit, but asks if Daniel wasn't already spooked enough, he sees this. It's gonna be like a Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare and shit. Gente. ¿Qué pasó? Gente. Se apagó todo. Oh, hell no. I get that. That's definitely bad. What appears to be a plush toy is mysteriously placed on the staircase. Yet, it was at this moment when Daniel realized that the toy might have actually been the small figure he'd seen earlier. Not sure how to explain this, he continues to walk away. But then, out of nowhere, a dark figure with a pale face is seen standing near the doll. Viewers of the livestream were just as freaked as Daniel. Just who, or even what, was this? And what was the doll that was apparently seen earlier doing there? Daniel has yet to give any updates on the events of that night. From the mysterious burning smell to the creepy looking figure, there has yet to be an explanation on what was captured. Out of all paranormal videos, it's usually those which involve children that tend to be the creepiest. Whether it's a child who's staring at something that doesn't appear to be there, or describing a supposed friend who can't be seen, this next video is just as creepy as any of those instances. In the following video, a grandmother is looking after her two-year-old granddaughter when things get strange. The granddaughter is playing on the couch when suddenly her attention gets drawn to something in the dining room. You're so funny. I can't wait till freeze-dried airheads. Oh boy. Summer gets here so we can go outside and play. I miss Mimi. I miss you too. I miss you too. Uh -oh, here what? Coming. What? Who's coming? Here coming. Who? Him. You see somebody back there? Him. Who? Him. Him? Yeah. Where's he at? Is he in our house? Yeah. Where? Show me. Where's he at? He's right in front of you? Yep. Who Point is it? me out. A guy. Who's there, mister? What are you doing in our... Where's he at? In the dining you better room? better max yourself, yeah. slut. Show me him. Go show me him. Give me your hand. Take me to him. Yes. Take me to him. Show me. Yep. The two-year-old goes on to tell her grandma where this invisible man is located. But it's what she says next that disturbs her grandma. Wait, let me... Show me. Is he right here? Yep. He's in our dining room? Yeah. 
What are you doing in our dining room, mister? What does he look like? Uh, I bug. He's got bug eyes? Yeah. What are you doing in our living room, mister? Hit. You go, you go back home. You go back wherever you came from. What did he, what's he doing? Come on, you're creeping me out. We're going upstairs. Come on. You're scaring me. That ain't creepy. Upstairs. She says she saw a bug. We're going upstairs. As described by the two-year-old, this mysterious man has bug eyes. No. It seems that this description. No, she said bug. He looked so it's like a, a roach or something. He ain't no dude with no bug eyes. Come on. Huh? Alone was enough to freak out the grandma to the point where she had to leave the space. Her granddaughter was convinced that someone was there. Even on camera, she appears to be visibly frightened by the so-called man who was apparently close. Now, even if this was just the case of a two-year-old acting randomly, her description of the man is frightening on its own. While some believe the bug eyes are indicative of a malicious entity, others think that something else was present. See, but I got some red spray like all for videos, his ass. The verdict is yours to make. I laid a spray right on up in his face. See if his bug eyes go through that. Mace. In this last video, a young girl is recording herself using her cell phone. All appears to be normal, as it looks like nothing unusual is happening. Or at least, that's how it seems. As the video plays out, something happens in the background that quickly turns this video into something else. This is what was caught. Behind this anonymous girl, a rapid, shadowy figure passes by for just a split second. Slowing the footage, you can somewhat make out the shape of this dark Scared me so bad, I didn't even have time to scream good. Anomaly. Some have stated that it seems to be standing upright while running fast, which makes whatever this was even more creepy. But whether supernatural or not, the video is a total mystery. A security camera records a child who is inside a crib when something downright creepy is captured. The child's mother had posted the following video as she doesn't know what to make of it. She was in the same room as her son when out of nowhere, he began to cry. It wasn't until watching the footage that she was left disturbed. The mother writes, I'm still trying to figure out if the camera glitched or something pushed my baby. This is what was caught. <laughs> Oh my god! The child all of a sudden disappears from the camera's view. It appears that he was pushed over forcefully. The question is though, what exactly had pushed him over? That's a fight. The cradle in the back continues to swing as the child vanishes from the frame, suggesting that this wasn't a glitch. If it was, then the swing would have skipped a frame, just yep. like the child had. But, as you can see, that was a good joke. I see what you did there. See, not a single frame is skipped. So then, if this wasn't a glitch, then what was it? No one else is seen in the room except the mother and child, and nothing appears to have pushed him over. As with all videos, it's up to you to decide if this is something paranormal or not. That's paranormal. The child's mother has yet to figure that out. But as always, feel free to share what you think. Move, bitch, get out today, huh? That's my new moving company The following slogan. footage shows someone who's alone at home when something terrifying happens. Move, bitch, get out today. That's my new moving company slogan. We help hoes, skeezers, skig skags, scallywops, hee-haws, and hula hoops. The person in question is a paranormal investigator named Jordan. Ever since investigating places that are said to be haunted, Jordan can't help but think that something has followed him home. From hearing strange noises at night, to having an episode of sleep paralysis, mm. during which he'd seen what appeared to be a lady with long black hair, mm. Mm -hmm. Jordan is certain that something is watching him. Mm -hmm. It nope. wasn't until one night, when he was home alone, that he caught footage of something disturbing. Jordan is recording his dog, when out of nowhere, this happens. What's wrong? Something there?
his dog appears to be sensing something, and the EVP seems to confirm that. Then, later in the night, the following happens. Worse, it gets worse. What was that? Why are you following me? You the one following them, stupid. You the one hunting. You want the ghost hunt, not them. Oh, hell no. This is what you Who wanted, ain't you? it? He's your pusher. Who uh, are you? Uh, 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 you did this. Oh, hell that. Damn that. Hey, hey, huh? Hey, hey. Yep, leave the dog. You better leave the dog. Come on, Fluffy. Fluffy, run! Fl Fluffy, come on, bitch! Are oh, you gonna lead it off? Really? Don't Jordan lead it off! Jordan has encountered what many viewers believe is a malevolent force. And just like Jordan, they too were left spooked. Now, the strangest thing about this encounter is the peeping head in the background. It's unclear as to who or what this could have been, but given what happened in the- Nasty motherfucker freaked out like Drake is. I see him peeping, yeah, yeah, like it. Bro, yeah, you don't want to stay there, man. Wake up with all types of burritos in your ass, man. You don't, you don't want that shit. Bathroom. Pray to God. Viewers believe shit. this might be the entity that's been haunting him. Needless to say, this video is pretty strange. I can't think of anything that might explain this, but maybe you can. Yeah, maybe stop ghost hunting. What are your thoughts on this? Is this actual footage of a ghost, or is it something else? Yeah, I'm thinking you should have been an usher at a movie theater, nigga. <laughs> Y'all here doing too much. To this hunt next ghost? video was posted by Athelaine Sevilla, who received footage of a chilling incident that took place in a foreign country. The footage shows a group of people standing on the street when they see something that terrifies them. We have no idea as to what they're seeing, but whatever it is, it seems to be very unsettling. It isn't until we see the footage from a different angle that we notice what it was that terrified them. This is what they saw. Be sure to look closely for this one, or you'll miss it. They all saw that shit too. These niggas out here driving Uber ghosts and shit. <laughs> all right now, hey, leave me a rating. All right, good stuff. Wasn't that pookie? Somehow, a bicycle appears to have come out of nowhere as soon as the person on the motorcycle parks his vehicle. Now, some people think that the silhouette seen here might be a spirit of some sort, but this may be somebody whose figure is being distorted due to the camera's quality. What seems to be unexplainable is the bicycle that appears out of thin air. Where exactly did it come from? Viewers can't help but think that this might be a physical manifestation of an entity. But as always, it's up to you to decide if that's the case. As with all videos, this one remains a mystery. No, you just haunted. Amanda Big suggested the following video and writes, A family in Colombia had just moved into a new home. The person recording is a member of the family who is showing off his parents' new room. As he records the room, his siblings come storming in to let him know that they just saw something really frightening in the other room. This is what they saw. Sí, esta es la nueva casa de nosotros. Esta es la cama de mi mamá. Esta es la cama de mi mamá. Esta es la cama de mi mamá. Esta es que... ¡Ah! Lo dejan grabar. Ah, ok, hay algo. Uy, no, sea serio, no. No me pongan a jugar así que lo asustan a uno. No, 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 no. Pero quieto, quieto, quieto. Get in there and look at it, bro. No, venga, venga, quieto, quieto. 
Was it a Mexican? No, like a, no, no, a, a squatter? A shadow-like figure can be seen standing in the corner of the room. It's unclear as to what this could have been, but Amanda thinks this might have been a malicious presence. It's not certain if that's the case. One thing is for sure though, whatever this was had to be truly frightening as the family's reaction seems genuine. But again, I'll let you come up with your own opinion, ghost or not. Ghost. Watch the video again and decide for yourself. Reddit user Amatsumima posted the following image and writes, My ex-girlfriend sent this photo to her family chat to announce she reached the hotel safe and chilling. Her brother replies, Who is that in the mirror? Oh! Uh. Talk about cursed images. This is creepy. As with most images, there isn't that much info on this one, which makes it hard to explain. But feel free to share your thoughts. Who or what was inside the hotel room with the Reddit user's ex? The following video was posted by Gustavo Melendez, who encountered something terrifying. Gustavo was cleaning up his yard when he found what appeared to be a skull buried underneath his garden. Gustavo immediately took out his phone and began to record. But as soon as he did, the following happened. What the fuck is that? The fuck? Was that nigga beatboxing? Huh? You trying to freestyle in the afterlife? Oh. Oh. Terrible beat. I'll give it a two out of ten. Your beat suck. Maybach music, bitch. Do better. All of a sudden, Gustavo hears what sounds like somebody banging on his windows. Viewers think that the reason for this has to do with the cranium he found. Perhaps he was disturbing the peace by digging up the remains of this person. Whatever the reason might be, there's no doubting that this is something you'd see in a horror movie. Now, it could be that there was a draft, but what are the chances of that happening immediately after digging up someone's remains? I leave it to you to figure this one out. Is it real or fake? Whether real or not, the video itself is pretty creepy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. It's your boy Blasphemous HD. And don't go ghost hunting, because sometimes they hunt you back. Twisms.